Hello everyone, welcome back to Friendly Android Tech Channel. In this video, you can learn how to use light sensor in your application. So before going to development, first we see output of the application. After that, we develop our application. So this is our final output. If you keep your mobile on bright areas, it will display only empty bulb. When it comes to dark area, it automatically change to on stage. So in this video, you can learn how to use light sensor in your application. So let's begin our app. We already know how to create application in Android Studio. I already created Android project with the name of light sensor. I hope you already know this. Before going to use light sensor in your application, you must include permission in Android manifest file. So click on Android manifest file and enter this line. After that, go to XML file. In this layout, you can add image view because we display bulb image. So first remove test view tag. After that, in root layout, you can include background attribute. We give it as black color. After that, we include image view. In image view, you can add source. I imported from my local storage. You can find these sources in description also. Once you completed layout file, go to mainactivity.kt file. Here we add logic to the our project. First we declare image object and initialize on the onCreate method. First we include sensor event listener. So after app combat activity, you can mention sensor event listener. After that we get error line. So click on that and press alt enter. That will display some suggestions. Click on implement members and include two methods. After that remove to do lines. In this project you can learn only on sensor changed method. So before using that we include some declarations. Before on create method type these lines sensor manager and sensor. Once you declared in on create method you can initialize those objects. In this project we use light sensor. So that's why I mentioned type light. Once initialization completed, you must register the sensor manager in on resume method because we use main activity as our sensor listener. That's why we mentioned in on resume method. Unnest in on pause method you can mention unregister listener also because if you want to perform some sensor actions in only one activity, then you must include on post method also. Now here is the final part. So before implementing on sensor change method, we add some declaration. Before on create method, you can declare like this. So initially bulb is enabled by default. Whenever mobile is placed on bright area, bulb will be turned off. In on sensor change method, you can replace the name with event and here we check condition if event dot values of 0 that means first value of our sensor event is greater than 40 then it will display bulb is turn off state and also bulb value equal to false if it is not true then else block will execute it. In else block we mention return statement because uh, it will not execute it repeatedly. If sensor is not changed then else block will execute it. In this block we can mention on stage. So finally we done our application. In main activity file we inherit the sensor event listener and declare some variables which is initialized on on create method. After that we register the sensor manager and the on sensor changed method we add implementations. Once you completed these all steps click on run button. So successfully our application is created. So if you have any doubts regarding this tutorial please comment below. Please subscribe and like and share to your friends. Thanks for watching.